Hello Captains and welcome to this unboxing of the Senator Battle Fleet for Dystopian Wars by War Cradle Studios. As a disclaimer, War Cradle very kindly sent this copy as a complimentary copy for me to unbox, paint and add to my fleet. Senator Battle Fleet for the Union, it's all about the Union at the minute isn't it? Let's have a look what we get in this box. So. For the Senator Battle Fleet, we get one Senator, which is like your biggest ship at the back, two Midways, which can also be built either as Chicago's, Nashville's, Philadelphia's, or Wisconsin's. I love the name. <laughs> six Farragut frigates, six Puritan little sort of sub frigate things, um, three Akron observation rotors. I've got plenty of them. <laughs> three aerial escorts, which are pretty cool. Um, three Talon SRS tokens and three Lakota SRS tokens, which I hate, which is the little land train, which I think is really cool. You know, open, you're safe with that, aren't you? As soon as you see it, you know it's a good quality product, and you're just going to like dive into your, your chosen world. But we've got the, the little armoured clash and dystopian wars double sided thing, so you can scan your QR code, go to the Orbat find out what all your ships do, which is what I'll be doing after this to figure out which versions I'm going to build. Um, but today I'm not going to go through the fleet or tell you about the actual ships. I'm going to show you the cool models and we can get very excited about some cool stuff, can't we? Straight away, base selection. We've seen these now, haven't we? So they're for your, your flying units. Standard SRS token bases, which are very nice. And the sea bases, I love the fact that the sea bases actually have the sea on them. I know that sounds ridiculous, but how many businesses or how many manufacturers out there just have a flat bit of board and you're like, come on, <laughs> give us the sea. <laughs> to the sea. And then we have a brick of sprues. So I think that's three and three. Yes, it is. Okay, so I'm going to take one of each and we'll have a look at them in closer, in closer detail. So let's start with this one. Now, the quality of the ships is exactly what you'd expect. They're beautiful. And there's obviously lots of little options, different weapon batteries, different cannons, missile pods, things like that, that you can add to your, your, your ships. Um, to give you an idea of the quality you can see there, you know, the, the, War Cradle make a beautiful plastic kit, they really do. And the detail on them is excellent. I don't need to sort of shout about that to existing dystopian lost players, because you'll know. But if you're potentially thinking about taking a dip, do you get the fun? <laughs> Into the world of dystopian ones, you ain't gonna be disappointed with the miniatures. Um, I would strongly recommend you read the Orbat first to see what you're gonna build, which is why I'm not building anything now. I'm gonna build them up and add them to my, I've got like a thousand points of aerial, so I want a thousand points of, Sort of water based, it is a naval game at the end of the day, um, to, to round up my 2k of Union. So, yeah, very, very cool, cool looking kit as always from War Cradle here. A quick look at this one. So, <laughs> so here's your SRS, little escorts, tokens. So, this thing's interesting. This is the land train that's just come out for Armored Clash. Um, as an SRS, so it's already starting to see the difference in the scales, and obviously this is what you can do in this game with them, and you know, hopefully we can link the games together, that's what we want to do. But hey, we'll get to that as we get to it, eh? And as you look on, on the sprue, there's some, some beautiful you know, details, just incredible as always. Some quite hefty, sizable ships come in here, I think. So, you know, there's some really, really nice miniatures here, and I am looking forward to building them up. Now, obviously I, I need to plan out what I'm going to build, but I will put my ships up on Instagram, so I'll put the link uh, appearing at the bottom below. <laughs> Do have a look. Um, but yeah, that is one of each sprue. You get three of each of these sprues in the box, so plenty of plastic to keep uh, the avid admirals amongst us happy. So there we go, that's the, the Senator Battlefleet set, and obviously I'll be thinking about what I'm going to build and add to my fleet. Tell me, what should I build out of this? Is there anything that's specifically, you know, better than others? Um, the, the other half of my fleet's aerial, and again, you can see you can see those on the Instagram. Um, yeah, really cool. Thank you, War Cradle, for sending this out. I'm really excited to build them up and add them to our games of dystopian wars, which are coming in 2025. So if you are a fan, do subscribe for that that action. All that <laughs> see, watching Rob trying to sail around the board is always good fun. <laughs> um, but yeah, thank you for watching. Stay safe, stay well. The Union are here, and really cool miniatures.
Thanks, guys. We hope you enjoyed that video. We love making content for you and really thank you for your support. If you want to learn more about the bunker, head over to tomsbunker.com where you can not only purchase some lovely new models if you're within the UK, you can also find our links to Discord and also our Patreon if you should wish to contribute. Thank you to all of our Patreons, past, present and future, for the support they offer the bunker. It is truly epic and is lining up 2024 to be a fantastic year. Thank you. Thank you.